I got a need for Sneed. The Tennessee Titans make a huge trade and acquire one of the best cornerbacks in the NFL. I'm breaking it down on an emergency edition of the Locked on Titans podcast. Let's get it. You are Locked on Titans, your daily Tennessee Titans podcast. Part of the Locked on Podcast Network, your team every day. To the Locked On Titans podcast. I am your host, Tyler Roland. Titans fans, this emergency, luxurious Sneed trade edition of the Locked On Titans podcast is brought to you by my birthday, baby. My birthday was today, and the Tennessee Titans decided to deliver one of the best gifts I ever could have hoped for. Luxurious Sneed is a Tennessee Titan. One of the best cornerbacks in the NFL is now on the Tennessee Titans roster and they didn't even have to give up their second round pick this year. We talked about this, my everydayers. Remember from earlier this week, we talked about the fact, I don't want to give up pick number 38 for Legereus Sneed. I don't want to do that. But if the reports are true and the Titans could potentially give a third round pick in 2025, Well, now that, that I would be willing to do, okay? And that is exactly what the Tennessee Titans have done here. They gave up a third round pick in 2025 and then a pick swap in the seventh round. They're literally flopping seventh round picks with the Chiefs this year. And that's the only thing, the only impact on their draft picks this year. They're going to give up that third round pick next year for Legereus Sneed. Okay. All right, you know, that's a pick that the Tennessee Titans need. But at this point, who cares? All right, who cares about a third-round pick next year? If the Titans have their first two picks, if they have the rest of their picks, they have enough picks. All right, this is a move that had to happen. The Tennessee Titans needed to fix the cornerback position. We talked about my everydayers out there. We'll remember again. We have talked about the fact that the Tennessee Titans cannot fix every single position on the offensive side, or every single position on the roster. But they have fixed cornerback. They have gone out there and said, we are going to fix wide receiver. We are going to fix cornerback. Gone are the days of caveman football. The Tennessee Titans are like, we need to be better on the outside of the field. At cornerback, at wide receiver, and they go out, they get Calvin Ridley, and then they make this trade for Legereus Sneed. An incredible move, and it continues a Rand Carthon masterclass this offseason. The last episode I dropped for the week of Locked on Titans, we talked about the money, the financials, where they were at, and the Titans had enough room for one more big move. And they made it here. Huge. So, Legereus Sneed, six foot one, size at cornerback. He could play inside. He could play outside. He played a lot of inside cornerback, slot cornerback early in his career. Lately, he's transitioned to an outside receiver. And last year, we got the best version of Legereus Sneed that we have seen. He was a shadow cornerback, a guy who literally travels across the field one-on-one with the best wide receiver on the other team and locks that player down. All right, there are numerous examples throughout the season of where Legereus Sneed completely erased some of the best wide receivers in the NFL. So you are getting a top-notch, top-tier cornerback who not only is one of the best cornerbacks in the entire NFL, but a guy, again, who will match up. Not every cornerback is a match-up cornerback like Legereus Sneed. I would give you an example of Richard Sherman. Richard Sherman, one of the best cornerbacks that we've, we've seen in recent years in my lifetime in the NFL, but he was a zone cover three corner. He played a specific style in a specific way and couldn't play all the other ways that you can play things in the NFL. Legereus Sneed can do anything. He can play man. He can play zone. And again, he'll cover your number one receiver. He'll shadow him across the field. He'll go with him left, right, in the slot. Doesn't matter. I can line up anywhere. To have that sort of player, that sort of chess piece 
on your roster, on your team, to know, hey, number one wide receiver's coming into town. I got this guy. I'm putting on him. I'm having him take him everywhere that he goes, and he's going to dominate. Like, to get this caliber of player and to do it, and to do it without giving up your second round pick this year, again, masterclass by Rand Carthon. I wanted Rana Claus to bring the Tennessee Titans some gifts during free agency, and he delivered tenfold. Unbelievable. And again, it's my birthday. It's nearly 11.30 p.m. here where I'm at in Eastern time zone. I'm laying in bed. I'm watching the tournament games, watching basketball, laying back. And at the very end of my birthday, for Rand Carthon to give me this gift, not only the player that Legereus Sneed is, which we talked about, his skill set, his versatility, to have that sort of play, to do it without giving up any consequential draft capital in this year's draft. And now we get to the contract. Legereus Sneed was rumored to want $22, $21 million per year. The Tennessee Titans get Legereus Sneed for $19 million per year. $55 million guaranteed. This contract is going to be basically exactly the same as the Calvin Ridley contract. It'll be two years, $50 million. The Titans are pushing in right now, trying to improve the roster, knowing that we hit on some of these draft picks. We're going to be able to contend right away. I have been preaching patience throughout the offseason. Patience. This team may not be a Super Bowl contender right yet, right now. They may need another offseason next year to be in Super Bowl contention. But if the Titans nail this draft with the players that they've had in free agency, they had a couple more veterans at certain positions, they are going to be ready to make the playoffs and ready to make a push. Like, the NFL things change quickly, okay? So, Legereus Sneed, if you're just joining us, Legereus Sneed, Acquired by the Tennessee Titans in a trade for a 2025 third-round pick and a 2024 seventh-round swap. They're going to be given Legereus Sneed $19 million per year, $55 million guaranteed. This is an incredible move. And, and now, now you look at cornerback, I was okay with Cheeto being the Titans' number one cornerback. I was okay with him being their top cornerback this year. Add a, a mid-tier veteran to go with him. Let Roger play the slot. But now, now Cheeto is your number two with one of the best cornerbacks in the NFL. And let's not forget this. Let's not forget this, folks. Just a week ago, I personally, the tweet's already out there. I'm getting bombed already. It's the only thing that Colts fans can be happy about because they have been robbed now by Rand Carthon. But I thought that LeJarius C was definitely going to the Colts. And if he didn't go to the Colts, I thought for sure that he wasn't coming to the Titans. So to see this happen now, not only do the Titans get LeJarius Sneed, one of the best cornerbacks in the NFL, not only do they not give up their second round pick this year, not only that, but they don't give up any primary draft capital until next year's draft, but they stole LeJarrius Sneed from the Colts. FTC, baby. I love that. But now we got to talk about the Tennessee Titans defense as a whole going forward, especially that cornerback group. So I'm going to get into that now. Before I do, do want to let you guys know that this emergency edition of the Locked on Titans podcast is brought to you by Better Help. What's the first thing that you would do if you had an extra hour every day? Would you go for a run? Would you take a nap? Would you read a book? A lot of us spend our lives wishing that we had more time, but the question is, for what? If time was unlimited, how would you use it? Therapy can help you find out what matters most to you, so you can do more of it. If you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online. It's designed to be convenient, flexible, suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist, and you can switch therapists at any time for no additional charge. Learn to make time for what makes you happy with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash locked on to get 10% off your first month. 
That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash locked on. Titans fans, let's continue this emergency edition of the Locked on Titans podcast. It may be late. It may be my birthday, but I am here with you guys breaking down the Tennessee Titans news. I do it every Monday through Friday here on the Locked on Titans podcast. It's all year round. It's on all platforms. It's always for free. Make sure that you get subscribed. Stay subscribed. It's the number one Tennessee Titans podcast in the world. Throw a thumbs up on the video if you're watching right now as well. Let me know if you're excited about the Legereus Sneed trade down below. Again, great move by Rand Carthon. Not only did he bag one of the best cornerbacks in the NFL who's only 27 years old, but he also got on great trade terms, giving up only a third-round pick in 2025 and a seventh-round pick swap this year. He stole Legereus Sneed away from the Colts. And only paid him $19 million per when he was reportedly wanting $21, $22 million, $55 million guaranteed. It's a great contract for where the Titans are at. He's a great player. It's a great fit. Man coverage. Press you at the line of scrimmage. One-on-one. Travel with your best receiver across the field. And again, this sets up the Titans cornerback room so perfectly. I, As I just said, I have been preaching patience that the Titans can't fix everything overnight. But they should be able to fix some things. And after they draft a wide receiver early in the draft in April, the wide receiver position and the cornerback position are going to be nasty. Nasty. Imagine if the Titans had Calvin Ridley, DeAndre Hopkins, A.D. Mitchell, Lad McConkie, Xavier Worthy, as a third wide receiver. And then Traylon Burks is your fourth. Whatever. And then on defense, you have Legereus Sneed as your top traveling number one shutdown corner. Number two, you have Cheeto, who has been a number one corner at his best in previous years. And then you have one of the best slot cornerbacks in the NFL in Roger McCreary. You still have Amani Hooker, who is an absolute menace attacking the ball in the back end. The Titans add one of these veteran safeties, and now they have one of the best secondaries in the league. I mean, you look at the cornerback group, of Legereus Sneed, Cheeto, and Roger McCreary, and that is one of the best cornerback groups in the NFL. Now look, I've been all positive for 13 straight minutes, but I do want to also acknowledge the realities here. Legereus Sneed, 27 years old, and the knee issues have been reported heavily. He's got some problem with his knee. He doesn't like to practice a lot. It's something you have to manage throughout the year. I get it. But let me just provide one counter argument uh, to the jury, please. Uh, Did you see him play last year? I I mean, played 16 out of 17 games. Played all throughout the playoffs. Uh, The year before, 17 games. The year before, 15 games. So this guy has played 15 games or more in three straight seasons, and I'm supposed to be worried about his durability? Is that what you're telling me? So 15 games, 17 games, 16 games, and we're all going to freak out about a knee problem that is a durability, even though that he... Do you see what I'm saying? So, like, look, you play in the NFL, you get beat up, you have problems. But this guy plays football. He just goes out and plays football. He is available for his team when his team needs him. So don't talk to me about some, oh, he's got some terrible knee issues. Well, I'm looking over his games played in his career, and I don't really see how that's a a major, major concern. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, he's had 10 interceptions in his career, at least two interceptions every single year, has six and a half sacks in his career, 303 tackles. He had 108 tackles in 2022. The guy is physical. He's willing to come up and hit. Again, man coverage, travel with your receiver across the field, press. Did you see what he did to Tyree Kill in the playoffs? Tyree had no choice but to admit, dang, this guy's a good player. So for the Titans, 
to go from Sean Murphy Bunting, Christian Fulton, to Cheeto and Legereus Sneed, and then Roger in his third season in the slot, this is a nasty, nasty cornerback trio. I mean, again, <laughs> some positions did need to be solved. And if the Titans take a wide receiver with their first one of their first two picks in this year's draft, wide receiver will be solved and cornerback will be solved for at least two seasons. Then you could just attack, 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 offensive tackle, and the rest of the defense. And, you know, I'll be honest with you. Look at the rest of the defense. You need one safety add a veteran, and draft a guy. You need depth at the edge. You need some interior defensive line depth, with that, which I think you can get for cheap. I am not as high as everybody else on stacking the inside linebacker position. I'm excited to see what Otis Reese can do this year. Jim White did a nice feature on him here recently. I want to see that. But where the Titans are going right now, adding star players, adding playmakers, adding guys who change the football game. Like, we're not just adding depth pieces. Just think about where we're at right now as Tennessee Titans fans. Adding Calvin Ridley and Legereus Steen in a trade. The Titans went out and made the biggest wide receiver deal of the offseason and made the biggest trade of the offseason so far as well. The Tennessee Titans. I have been saying since Mike Vrabel got fired and since we got the Brian Callahan news, the reorganization news, that this offseason is going to be a pivotal moment that we look back to where the Tennessee Titans grew up as a franchise. And everything that we've seen so far continues that belief for me. This is a whole new football team. Who is this team? making these big-time moves, pushing all in, using their cap space, willing to pay. Amy Adams Strunk has given out $150, $160 million of guaranteed cash. We all think about cap space all the time. Think about the actual cash that is being given to these players and their signing bonuses and their fully guaranteed money. Like, Amy is breaking the bank this offseason, Ran Carthon is making the moves, and Brian Callahan is going to be ready to coach a playoff team. Like, what an incredible trade for the Titans again. It is my birthday. Throw a thumbs up on the video. Hit subscribe. I, I'm, I'm, I'm in a bit of shock that this happened. In Denard Wilson's defense, where the Titans are going to bring pressure and play man, and get up in people's face, and attack. I mean, you can't think of a better fit. You could not dream up a better fit for the Tennessee Titans than Legereus Sneed. Like, this is, and apparently, according to some reports here, I think it's Buck Rising. Um, it was Brian Callahan who made a big push. For Legereus Sneed internally. Four years, 76 million, 55 million guaranteed. Just a great job by Rand Carthon. I want I want to talk about the big picture stuff here, guys. Because again, this is a new day for the Tennessee Titans. This the franchise is changing right in front of our eyes. And I can't wait to talk about that more before I do, though. Do want to let you guys know that today's episode is brought to you by FanDuel. Say goodbye to your busted brackets because FanDuel lets you bet on every game of the tourney, whether you're going to bet on a big upset, hello Kentucky, or you're going for a number one seed to run the table, hello Connecticut. It's time to go dancing on America's number one sports book. Right now, new customers get $200 in bonus bets if your first $5 bet wins. That's 200 bucks to use on point spreads, money lines. You can even pick who's going to win it all. Just visit FanDuel.com slash locked on. That's L-O-C-K-E-D-O-N. FanDuel.com slash locked on. And bet on college hoops until they cut down the nets. Titans.
Titans fans, let's cap off today's emergency edition of the Locked on Titans podcast. The Tennessee Titans have traded for LeJarrius Sneed, one of the best cornerbacks in the NFL. Big time deal given out as well. We talked about why this is such a great fit, why Sneed is such a good player, why Rand Carthon is killing it this offseason, how good the cornerback room is going to be. But now I want to go back to a big picture conversation about the Tennessee Titans offseason. I mean, for the this Tennessee Titans team, who has been a second-rate citizen, quite frankly, in the NFL media landscape for so long, a team that didn't make the big move, a team that didn't make the big splash, a team that liked to play it slow, that liked to play old-school football, we're going to run the ball, we're going to play defense, we're going to... For this Tennessee Titans organization to fire a coach like Mike Vrabel, hire a guy like Brian Callahan, promote Rand Carthon, give Chad Brinker an extended role, dive more into analytics and data analysis and predictive models, to go out here and make big splashes with the Calvin Ridley deal, steal him away from Jacksonville, go get LeJarius Sneed in a big-time trade, give him a big contract, steal him away from the Indianapolis Colts. For the Titans to go out and make all of these moves and push all in, it's just this entire offseason, it gets me emotional. I know that it's just a sports team. It's just football. It's just entertainment. But I know you guys are like I am. And I give my entire soul to this team. I am completely dedicated to this team. I mean, quite honestly, I have dedicated my life to the point where this, this football team pays my bills. Not directly, but indirectly. That is how this works for me. And for this team that I have rided, uh, rode for, I guess, and died for, for 25 years, to change the way they operate finally and kind of join the modern NFL landscape. I mean, this is a magnificent moment and a magnificent offseason for Tennessee Titans fans. I think it was Burke Nihill, the Titans uh, president, who went on a, a local radio station during the Brian Callahan hire and said, like, this is a changing offseason for this team. There's a lot of big changes happening for this organization. And, and they put their money where their mouth is. I mean, their actions match their words. Yeah, I'm seeing Joe Alt in the chat. Ladies and gentlemen, at the Tennessee Titans draft Joe Alt, this is the best offseason that I've experienced. In real time, obviously, the results are going to play out over time. But while it's happening, this would be the best offseason I can remember from this team ever. 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 When have they ever acted this seriously? To remodel this team and remake this team. Not only the football team, but the franchise. Again, we're seeing the Tennessee Titans team, like the roster, have a major change and a complete overhaul. We're seeing that with the organization as well. Again, the data and the data analysis, the analytics, the predictive models. Seeing the Titans go with a modern offensive coach who wants to run a modern NFL system with modern NFL philosophies. To go out and get Calvin Ridley and then make this trade for Legereus Sneed on top of everything they've done so far as an organization. Like, this is a total new dude. Tighten up in the chat. Hit me up on Twitter, at Tic Tac Titans. Tighten up. I mean, I don't know what else to say, guys. This is just an incredible moment. Again, Legereus Sneed, 27 years old, six foot one, lockdown corner, shutdown guy, follow your receiver across the field. Man coverage, press at the line of scrimmage, three, uh, fifty-five million guaranteed, four-year contract, or I think it's three-year contract, seventy-three million. Uh, I'm doing it. We're doing it live. Yeah, according to Buck Rising, Brian Callahan, massive proponent of Legaria Steen in the building, had a tremendous amount of respect for him. So they went out and got coaches' guy. They went out and got talent. Like to see the Titans really go all in like this. I mean, it's pretty impressive. No way around it. Again, a third-round pick in 2025, and then a seventh-round swap this year. They're going to give Legereus Sneed $55 million, $19 million a year over four years. Probably be a, a, a two-year contract worth, you know, $50 million over two years. That's my guess. So when, when we get the real details, which if you guys watched Friday's show, 
you heard us break down the finances and you understand contracts aren't always what they seem. But, I mean, thank you, Ray Carthon. Again, today was my birthday to finish it off this way and celebrate with you guys and get this present from the Titans. Cannot thank them enough. Uh, cannot thank you guys enough. Excellent stuff. And I would imagine on Sunday, we're going to break down more Legereus Sneed news as details about the process come out. And probably look at a mock draft now that we have a little more clarity on where the Titans are at. I would expect some more moves to happen for the Titans. I would imagine that they plan to sign some other people, but they didn't want to do it until they got this situation ironed out first. So I would expect uh, to hear some traction on the Titans adding cheaper depth pieces here in the near future. And I'm going to be breaking that down here on the Locked on Titans podcast as well. Make sure you get subscribed. Stay subscribed. It's the number one Tennessee Titans podcast in the world for a reason. Stick around and find out. As always, I am your host, Tyler Rowland, and this was Locked on Titans.